Hello, goddesses. Hello, and welcome to this week's holistic guidance. And uh, as you jump on, say hello so I can see you and I can hold space for you. And if you're catching the replay, let me know that you are catching the replay. And um, um, for those of you who don't know me, while we are waiting for everyone to jump on, let me just introduce myself. My name is Isabel. And I'm a certified naturopath and a holistic life coach and a master practitioner of NLP and timeline therapy and a practitioner of the Akashic Records. And um, what I do is I love to work with soul aligned women in midlife who are so ready for blissful health and soul connection and who want to release pain and step into feeling great in their body and making midlife absolutely amazing not only in their body but in their life as well hello goddess Diane. it's so nice to have you here so ladies if you are jumping on live let me know say hello so i can see you and hold space for you and we're going to give it a couple of minutes before we dive in to our subject today. Oh, one of my favorite subjects, which is food and more specifically digestion and assimilation and all that jazz. I just love it. Have always loved it and have tried all sorts of different diets and when I say diets I'm not talking about oh I'm not eating I am talking about um, hmm, what is this type of lifestyle hmm, what is this type of lifestyle and at the heart of it all it always has to be for healing and energy and well-being um, and that is the basis or should be the basis for everything that you do your work your um, eating habits, your sleeping habits, your activities, all of it should be for empowerment and making you feel great. And definitely when you have health, life is good. Life is really good, right? Do you understand what I mean? Let's start it off with some thumbs and some hearts if you're understanding what I am saying. And um, I see that several of you have already jumped on, so let's dive in. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you specific questions and I want you to answer and let me know if this is you. I wanna know who digests super well, right? Maybe a thumbs up or me. You can write me in the comments, right? I wanna know who digests super well and I'm not saying like once in a while I'm saying like all the time right and how do you know if you digest super well well first of all you're at your health weight and second of all you feel good in your body okay it doesn't have to be great but at least good in your body and everything else seems to be working pretty well right you're not like you eat and then ugh, None of that happening, right? So I want to know who digests super well. Let me know in the comments. And then I want to know if you know who absorbs super well. So absorbing you, your nutrients really well is you eat and you feel good after. And I'm not talking about eating a candy bar, being sad, eating a candy bar, and then feeling pretty good for like mm, 15 minutes before, you know, the sugar crashes you. I'm talking about you eat and then you feel calmness and you feel strength. Your skin looks good. You have the energy. I want to know about that as well. And just so you know that eating well and healthy is not necessarily enough to keep you uh, strong and fit. There's other things that come out. So um, let me share something with you. So a few years ago, 
I actually, it was several, several years ago that I started creating this, but a few years ago, it came to like a pivotal point. I had created a huge fibroid uh, uh, on my uterus. So it was about this big. Okay, so you see it? You see how big that is? I had created that within my body. Now, some of you know that sometimes my body suffers from autoimmune, and I say it specifically that way because I am not my body. My body is my body, and I am more than my body, and our words matter, so I'm using my words right now, okay? And um, when I eat well, and I have a healthy lifestyle that I enjoy, then my body feels great. If I get off that path, then yeah, I'm gonna feel the autoimmune come on pretty heavy, right? So if you have any kind of autoimmune disease or you're suffering from any kinds of pains, right? Regardless if it is something bigger um, all the way from cancer to something lighter, um, like, and I'm not saying that it's not uh, big, I'm just saying lighter, things like arthritis or um, inflammation and things like that. So anywhere in that range, there are more than just eating that you can do to help your digestive system. So what are the things that you can do? Like I was saying a few years ago, the tipping point was I had created this huge fibroid in my body. It had come in from stress. It had come in from a lack of really detailed attention to my uh, immunity to my general well-being, to exercise, to sleeping well, to self-love, all of that combined together. And I was able to get all of that sorted, taken care of, and my body is my uterus, and my womb space is doing perfect these days, right? Now, just a few weeks ago, hmm, I created huge inflammation in my body and the pain was so intense. Everything was burning. My skin was burning. It was tingling. Um, I, I could feel, I could even feel burning along my eyelashes internally as well. And this was really caused by all the toxins in my body running around and not being eliminated, mostly due to the autoimmune, and it was causing inflammation, right? So when there is a, a, a pain, usually the body will create inflammation to try to localize it and heal, but when there is all around inflammation, that is a clear sign that something is not going well. So, um, I put a really clear plan in place. And if you ask me, yes, I had come off my, my sacred path. I'll say it like that, right? My sacred path, not with everything, but with some things. And if we're not walking our sacred path, then there will come along with, um, with pains. And if pains are not taken care of when our body speaks to us, if we don't listen, then it, it'll become bigger and stronger. And again, if we don't listen to it, a disease might form in our bodies just to, for us to stop where we're focusing and bring back our focus to our sacred path, what's most important for us in our life. So what did I do? Um, and these, you can definitely take them for yourself because these are, are, are great tools, okay? So one of the first things I did was dive into energy medicine, okay? 
my energy was being drained out from many different sources and I had been allowing that. So I went back to energy medicine. I went back to healing using the Akashic Records, using EFT, oh my goodness, EFT, so beautiful, and connecting to Mother Earth and doing different types of energy medicines. Then came herbs, vitamins, and minerals. So very, very important. Now, um, um, of course, I know my body type, my, my glandular type. I know, because I've been studying all that, I know a lot when the symptoms come, it means it's from this cause or this cause or this cause so I can bring the appropriate um, solution to it. But even without knowing all of that, you can still bring vitamins. You can still bring minerals. You can still bring herbs that will support your entire being. I also added enzymes and probiotics to help my body not only release the toxins, but go support the organs that were definitely uh, having issues. The liver, the gallbladder, the intestines, the whole gut area, and definitely the whole digestive tract. There were so many toxins in my body, it was literally oozing out my pores and trying to heal, but it couldn't. And one of the biggest causes out of all that, yes, uh, foods that are not aligned with you and your body type will cause stress. A lack of proper rest will bring stress to the body. Anxiety will bring stress to the body. Uh, hormonal disrupt when your hormones are disrupted, this will also bring stress to the body. So everything that is related to stress for the physical body is huge. So what do we do besides uh, energy medicine and herbs and enzymes and um, probiotics and flushing out? Well, we go back to basics, all right? These things that I've named, really important, jot those down. We go back to basics using calmness. It is not easy, but it is essential. It is so important to cultivate calmness in our mind, in our heart, and in our body. If going for a run or going for a walk creates calmness, then you do that. But if it creates any kind of stress when your body feels like it's under attack, then you go the other route, right? We want to create this. Then we have food combinations. So important and so neglected because there's so many fad diets coming in that food combinations right now are kind of like put on the back burner. But no, you don't want to put them on the back burner. They should be like... Phew, smack down right in front. They are so important. Now, food combinations, yes, combined with your endocrine gland type, even more powerful. So all depending what your type is, um, you're going to be eating different foods combined with other foods at different times of the day and this will make a huge impact on your digestion. And when your digestion is on, you are on. You are strong. You are feeling energetic. You are feeling calm. You are feeling mm, joyful and excited and creative and all of these things. And what that does when you feel all of that is you actually really enjoy your life because you're more positive, right? You have the, the, the better outlook in life and you're 
coming up with great ideas. You're connected to intuition. So you actually have a better soul connection when you're feeling this way. And it can definitely stem from digestion. So when I'm talking about um, your, your glandular types, we have um, thyroid, we have adrenal, we have gonadal, we have pituitary, right? And all depending which of these categories as a woman you go into, we can definitely get you some more aligned ways to eat so that your nutrition, your nutrients, they go in but they don't just get flushed out or just get stored as toxins because they're not being absorbed. Assimilation of the nutrients is even more important than all of that. So no matter what foods you buy, even if you're buying like a $12 pepper, organic loved pepper, if you eat it and you can't absorb it, it's not serving you, right? So all of this super important. Now, um, like I was saying, health is all encompassing, right? Now I've given you some great tools right there and then. Now, and like I'm saying, health is all encompassing. It's not just about your digestion. It's not just about what you eat. It's not just about your lifestyle. It's not just about how you will assimilate the foods. And it's not just about your glandular types, when you're eating, how you're eating, how you're combining it, or which herbs, which vitamins, which minerals you're taking in, or which healing modality you're using to heal traumas and stress and anxiety and all that. It's also about your mindset. Even if your body is feeling you can still choose to align your mindset in a positive direction. I'm not saying it's easy, but you have that. You also have your spiritual connection. Even if your body is not feeling spot on, you can call in your spirit guides. You can connect with your inner wisdom, and this will also help you align. You have your emotions as well. These are your guiding GPS in life, right? It tells you, mm, yeah, you're aligned, you're doing great, or Ugh, no, that is not working for you. It is such a huge guiding system. And of course, then you have your well-being, your physical well-being, which are all of these parts that I was talking to you about earlier. So, beautiful goddesses, I have given you like some super powerful tools right here. And I just want to let you know if this is resonating and you're like, yeah, I love that. I just need to know more and how and all that. There is still one day left on my special Rise Consult. And we can set it up like you want, but the special is really about us using the Akashic records to help um, bring in some guidance with Oracle guidance. And then we set up a specific plan where you can take tangible steps, daily tangible steps in these areas so you can really start feeling better. If this is feeling aligned and you're like, yeah, I want to feel good. I want to have that energy. I want to enjoy my days. I want to feel good in my body. And I want to look at my body, even if I'm in midlife, and say, I love it. And it's supporting me. And I'm able to do the things that I want. Then um, I'll put the link up above the, the video once it's completed, I'll go put it above and you can just click on it and you can register for it or you can send me a message and we'll set you up. Today's the last day for this very special Rise Consult. And I am definitely 
thank you for that. And I am definitely uh, holding space for you. So even if you're catching the replay, these tools that I have shared with you, I'm telling you they work. I use them all the time since this is going to be my fourth day of getting back on track. My weight on the scale has gone down seven pounds. I haven't done anything. It's the inflammation that has gone. No more burning, no more itching. It feels really good to feel in control of one's health. Anyways, if this is of interest to you, if you want to go deeper, you know how to uh, reach out to me. And um, just with all this information, you have so many tools right now, right away that you can start implementing. Mwah. I'm going to send you love and light, and I will see you next time as you start implementing a really great lifestyle. Bye for now.